Hello there, welcome back. Um, in this video I want to talk about the Inspire. First of all, sorry about the state of the desk, there's a huge amount going on at the moment. Um, so it's a bloody mess if I'm honest, um, and I need to tidy it up. However, I haven't got round to it yet. Anywho, back onto the Inspire. I haven't done a lot of videos on the Inspire, but I wanted to talk about some specific firmware releases recently because they're A, very important, and B, they've caused a little issue here and there. Nothing fantastic, but the odd person has had a trouble. Um, we're going to talk about aircraft firmware first. Version 1.9. DJI released version 1.9.1.10. Shortly after releasing it, a few people, not many, but a few people started getting some very strange behaviour from the VPS system on the Inspire. Their aircraft would no longer hold altitude well and it would just start dropping towards ground level. One or two people got caught out by it and they actually crashed the aircraft. Um, when I say crash, I started the wrong term, it touched ground with the camera on. The problem is that can be disastrous, especially if you've got an X5 on board. But only the odd person, it was very strange, it wasn't many. What it did remind me of actually was the VPS bug on the Phantom 3 on version 1.260. Very similar behaviour. But anyway, some people on version 1.9.1.10 had this strange behaviour. Very shortly afterwards, DJI released version 1.9.130. This resolved that issue completely. So I highly recommend anybody who's on that earlier 1.9.110 upgrade to the latest. If you're on firmware before that, so version 1.8 or earlier, jump to the latest. Do not put that intermediate version 1.9 on your aircraft. It seemed to affect Pro models more than the V2 or the V1 for some reason, but anyway. That was that. Further to that, last week DJI pushed out an update for the remote controller. The previous remote controller version was 1.6. That was the same firmware that was on the P3, P4 and Inspire 1. They were all unified across one version of firmware. Last, I think it was last week, DJI pushed out, it was on the 28th of the 7th, so just over a week ago version 1.740 for the Inspire remote controller. Now this firmware was released only for the Inspire. It was not released for any of the other models. The reason being is it added support for the DJI Focus for the X3. The Focus um, handheld so it added support for that. Now, people with single controllers seem to update without problems, although it does do something strange after the update, which I'll talk about in a minute. However, people in dual operator setups, the master updated fine. However, a number of people had real problems with the slave. And I'm talking, some people had a massive issues. Some guys weren't able to update. I know one or two have sent the RCs back. Most people got round it in the end one way or another. What seemed to happen was they'd update the aircraft and then they would, sorry, they'd update the controller, the slave, again, the master updated fine, and then they'd lose all connectivity via USB. They weren't able to get connected at all. They tried resetting the controller, tried doing everything, weren't able to. What most people found is in the end with enough reboots and trying multiple different smart devices. So if you were on Android, try an iOS, they eventually managed to get a connection and then the firmware would update again and then they got their controller back. A couple of other people also got stuck on a red light and they couldn't do anything. It appears the problem only happened on the slave controller. So there's a few things you could do to get around this. First of all, if you haven't upgraded to the version 1.7 on your remote controller yet and you have a master and a slave before you update the slave change it back to a master in the settings 
So reset the controller back to a master controller and then update it as a master. Once you have updated it, it will reboot back to a red light. Perfectly fine. Turn the controller off, turn it back on. It should then allow you to connect to the Go app. The first thing you then need to do is reset the stick mode settings. The stick mode settings are the settings that tells the controller if it's mode 1, mode 2, mode 3, mode 4, etc. What it appears to have done is it is reset the stick mode settings on the update and unless you change them it won't let you use the controller. So what is recommended you do is you fire it back up after the update as I will do now. We will enter DJI Go. We will just wait for that to turn on. Skip that. Enter the camera screen. Okay, so we're going to not connected. First thing to do was go into the remote controller, remote controller settings, stick mode. You may go in and it will show you on stick mode 2. Change it to another mode, mode 3. Click apply, click OK. You'll hear the remote controller beep. Come out of the menu, go back into the menu, change it back to your desired mode, which is mode 2 for me. Come out. Next, perform a remote controller calibration. Enter the sticks to start, click start, click the warning, let me just calibrate the sticks. Always when you're calibrating the sticks, don't forget the gimbal wheel on the top corner here. Don't forget to calibrate that one. It's very easy to forget. So all the corners, sticks back to centre, click finish, beeps to complete. That is it. Once you have done that, then set it back up as a slave controller again. Another thing to note, after the update it appears DJI have changed some of the security between the 5.8 link between the two remote controllers. If it was using the default password before, that password might not might have changed. It might not be the same. So don't just assume the password to link the controllers is the same as it was before you updated. Go into your master and check. A lot of people have found that the password has changed to a completely random set of numbers. So before you relink the two, don't keep trying to put in your old one, which you might have been one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, etc., because it might have changed. Don't assume, go in and check. And that's it for this controller update, version 1.7. Um, as I said, on the master, it goes through perfectly fine. It appears to only be the slave. The trick is to reset it to a master before you update the controller. If you have updated it and you cannot get it to link to your device anymore, try multiple devices, just keep trying. Um, I had one guy uh, we were talking to that went through like six devices and the sixth one connected. And for some reason, when he connected the sixth one, it actually prompted to update the firmware again. It updated that firmware and then he got his full connection back. Um, personally, I only use iOS devices. I tend to find them far less problematic. So if you have had update problems on Android, try an iOS device it tends to just work. That's it for this video. It was purely to talk about those two on the Inspire. So version 1.7 firmware on the remote controller now. Version 1.9, the second version 1.9 on the aircraft. They're solid releases, there's no, no known issues with either of them. Um, the update on the controller, if you're on 1.6 and you don't use the DJI focus or you, you don't intend to use the focus that's the only real reason to update at the moment so you don't actually have to do that latest update but it will budge you to do it via the go app anyway so that's it thank you very much for watching hopefully i'll do another video again soon